he created some crazy back tests here. You can see 417% return with a buy and hold of negative 18%, uh, 216 trades, profit factor 6.5, expectancy 0.76. But we got a really good question, so I want to address that right now. Essentially, they said, I've never used backtesting.py. That's, that's what I use. But um, since they've never used it, they don't they don't know the answer to this question. And the question was, how does it control look ahead bias in case of this liquidation strategy, which is this strategy here, the both of them. So this one returned 10.5 percent while the buy and hold was negative 5 percent return. And this one returned 84 uh, percent different, different um, data, different <clears throat> symbols. That's why it's different. But then the question is, how does it control look ahead bias in case of liquidations? So answer this and I'm going to say, please walk me through. Please walk me through exactly how it uh, controls look ahead bias after explaining to the audience exactly what look ahead bias is with three different examples a 12 year old would understand because my brain is like 12 so that's why i always i always try to dumb it down you know it's not for you i know you can handle anything but i i have a peanut brain so sure let's start by examining what look ahead bias is with three simple examples that a 12 year old might understand then we'll walk a th walk through your provided code to explain how it controls look ahead bias. What is look ahead bias? Look ahead bias occurs when future data are incorrectly used in a way that would not be possible in a real trading scenario. This leads to overly optimistic results as decisions are made with the benefit of knowing what will happen next. Example one, test answers. Imagine you're taking a test and you cheat by looking at the answers at the end of the book before answering the questions. When you get all the answers right, it's not because you knew the material, but because you peeked at the answers. Similarly, in trading, back test, look ahead bias means making decisions based on future data that you wouldn't have in real time. Predicting the weather, imagine you Say that you predicted it would rain yesterday. Of course, you know it rained yesterday because it already happened. But if you said you predicted it would rain without using yesterday's weather report, that would be fair. Using yesterday's report to pretend you predicted it is like look ahead bias in trading. School test grades. Think of a scenario where you try to determine which study method works best by taking a test? If you somehow know your grade beforehand and then claim that the study method you use was the best one because it gave you a perfect score, that's look ahead bias. So if you know some know your grade beforehand and then claim the study method you use was the best one because it gave you the perfect score, that's look ahead bias. You're using the grade that you wouldn't actually know ahead of time to validate your method. How the code controls look ahead bias. Now let's walk through your provided code and explain how it controls look ahead bias. Backtesting with liquidation data. Your code performs backtesting using liquidation data, which involves making trading decisions based on past liquidation events. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of how the code ensures that look ahead bias is avoided. Data preparations. The data is prepared and resampled to a minute by minute by basis. This means each minute's data is considered separately. Ensuring that future data points are not accessible when making decisions for the current minute. So it's not looking at any future data. Initialization, the init method the strategy initializes references to the liquidation data columns, ensuring that they can be used for making decisions without future data. So it makes these decisions. Somebody's got wrecked on ADA. 
makes these decisions without seeing future data. So the decision making in the next method, the strategy makes decisions based on data available up to the current time point. The data is sliced up to the current index. So it's only going to the current index to ensure only past and present data are utilized. So you can see here, this is the code here. So the trading logic, the strategy defines when to buy or sell based on liquidation thresholds within a specific time window. These actions are based purely on data up to and including the current minute, not any future data. So it's not looking at future data. That's how it's avoiding look ahead bias at the end of the day. Backtesting environment. The backtest library used here is designed to prevent look ahead bias by simulating the strategy strictly on the provided historical data. It ensures that any trading decision made at time T has only has access to information available up to include up to and including time T. Okay, so it doesn't have that. Alpha decay test to extend the control. For look ahead bias the and robustly test the strategy's performance an alpha decay test can be performed in alpha decay testing you trade your signal after delays eg one two three minutes post signal generation to observe how the performance metrics degrade over time this can help in validating the robustness of your strategy by ensuring it performs well even when there's a slight delay interesting interesting very interesting so I'm going to try that. Let's go to the notes here and say, let's try a <clears throat> try an alpha decay decay method on one of these one of these liquidation back tests. In summary, the provided code controls look ahead bias by strictly slicing and resampling the data up to the current index and using the backtesting framework designed to prevent look ahead bias. By doing so, it ensures that any trading decision made in is based on data available up to the moment of decision and re replicating a real world trading scenario. Give me three more trading examples of how to control look ahead bias dive a bit deeper into what look ahead bias is when it occurs and how to prevent it also give a couple more examples of how backtesting.py prevents it So what is look ahead bias? Look ahead bias occurs when a trading model or strategy inadvertently uses information that would not have been available at the time of making a decision, leading to overly optimistic and unrealistic performance results. The bias skews the back test results by because the strategy benefits from knowledge of future outcomes, something that is not possible in real world trading. How to control look ahead bias deeper overview when look ahead bias occurs using future prices if a strategy uses prices or other indicators from future time points to make trading decisions at the current time so that's when look ahead bias occurs here data smoothing if smooth or rolling averages incorporate future data points retention data when non when using non-traditional alternative data like news sentiment or social media posts where the timestamp could include or imply future information, incorrect signals Retention data when using non-traditional alternative data like news sentiment or social media posts 
where the timestamp could include or imply future information. Incorrect signal timing when adjusting or modifying signals after knowing future market moves. Preventing look ahead bias, strict data slicing, ensure that they that any data used for making trading decisions is only up to the current time index. Rigorous testing, perform detailed tests like alpha decay to ensure the strategy's robustness across different time delays. Manual validation, regularly review and validate the logic and results to confirm no future data is inadvertently used. Manual validation, regularly review and validate the logic and results to confirm no future data is inadvertently used. Moving averages scenario, you use a 50 day simple moving average to trade stocks. Look ahead bias risk. If the calculation of the SMA inadvertently uses future closing prices, e.g. today's closing price to decide yesterday's trade, that's look ahead bias. Prevention, proper data handling, ensure the <clears throat> formula strictly uses historical prices up to the current price a whale is splashing ensure the formula strictly uses historical prices up to the current data data slicing use data frame slicing in a disciplined manner to exclude future prices so slice correctly example two trading sentiment data you decide whether to buy or sell based on news sentiment data Look ahead bias risk if sentiment ratings for future dates are used in evaluating current trades, e.g. news from tomorrow's affecting today's trade signals, prevention, timestamp validation, ensure news sentiment date data is timestamped correctly and only uses data available up to the current moment, time index integrity, regularly validate the data set to ensure the time index has integrity. You incorporate weekly, so scenario, uh, trading bot three economic indicator based strategy. You incorporate weekly economic indicators, e.g. unemployment rates into your trading strategy. Look ahead bias risk. If the strategy uses economic data release post the current trading session to make decisions for the same session. So that will be the look ahead bias. The prevention is event driven update. Align your economic data based on with their actual release schedule historical data validation backtest backtest the strategy using historical economic data without incorporating future events Methods in backtesting.py to prevent look ahead bias. Data structuring. The library enforces strict slicing and indexing of data to ensure no future information is used in the next step calculation. Simulation environment. It simulates the real world incremental tick by tick or bar bar by bar environment, ensuring that each trading decision is based on information available up to that point. So, how confident are you that using backtesting.py doesn't or, or solves solves the problem of look ahead bias is there anything else i should do in order to build confidence that my backtesting library above is preventing Look ahead. So strict data splitting, alpha decay test. We're gonna do that later. I'm gonna do the alpha decay test for sure. So extra measures of look ahead prevention, time constraint assertions, integrate additional checks to ensure data slices always respect time continuity, continuity, continuity. 
sorry, I can't read. Uh, alpha decay implementation, perform additional runs where trades execute with delays. That's a good idea. Summary, look ahead bias is an integral factor in ensuring reliable backtesting. It occurs when future unavailable data at decision time are incorrectly used, skewing strategy results unrealistically by adhering to strict data handling policies, employing time slicing correctly, and leveraging robust backtesting libraries like backtesting.py. One can significantly reduce or eradicate look ahead bias, ensuring the prepared strategy is realistic and executable in time or in live trading conditions as it appears in backtest. So uh, the next question I ask is how do, how do I prevent look ahead bias? Give me three examples and ways to do this. Backtest, preventing look ahead bias in backtesting is crucial for ensuring that your trading strategy's performance results are realistic and achievable in a live trading environment. Here are three examples of how to prevent look ahead bias along with ways to implement these techniques in your back test. Example one, proper data slicing with correct timing. You have price and liquidation data and you want to ensure that any decision making uses the only the information available up to the current time implementation ensure that your strategy slices the data up to not only or so not but not including the current point when calculating indicators signals and making trading decision this means using past data correctly look ahead bias monte carlo simulation and we did something else. Walk forward. Friday ideas, essentially. Code implementation. So we'd modify something. I'll do that later. Delayed trade execution, alpha decay test to validate the robustness of your strategy. You can <clears throat> introduce a delay in trade execution after a signal is generated. This helps to mitigate the risk of decisions influenced by immediate future data implementation. Run the back test with different delays to see how the performance metrics degrade with increasing the delay. Create a variation of your strategy to include delayed execution. Example three, event-driven data updates. Ensuring that the data points driving trading decisions are aligned with actual event times like economic news releases or liquidation events. Implementation, merge event-based data to your price data frame properly. Ensuring the timestamps do not correctly include future release information, code implementation, ensure economic data or liquidation events are correctly timestamped. So summary, proper data slicing, ensuring only historical data up to the current point is used. That's how you prevent it. Delay execution. We'll try this later. Alpha decay test. Introduce delays to ensure the strategy's robustness against immediate execution bias. Event-driven updates. Align data precisely with with event times to ensure no future information is used using backtesting framework backtesting.py along with proper daily handling uh, techniques allows you to robustly evaluate the strategy's true performance free from look ahead bias making the results closer to what could be expected in real world trading conditions so how confident are you that using backtesting.py solves the problem of look ahead bias is there anything else i should do in order to build confidence that backtesting.py is chill Co uh, confidence in backtesting.py look ahead bias the backtesting.py library is designed to mitigate the risk of look ahead bias as it operates on historical data in forward only fashion simulating trade decisions step by step as if a live trading environment it ensures that each trading decision made by the strategy only uses the data up to the current point in time however while the library itself has mechanisms to prevent look ahead bias it's crucial to enforce best practices in your strategy and data preparation to enhance confidence further best practices to enhance confidence in look ahead bias prevention 
review data slicing usage so thoroughly review and ensure that every instance of data usage in your strategy strictly avoids accessing future data points use explicit assertions what's going on right here by the way i'll have to get to that later too Fix the deal flow vol error. I mean, until then, I'm taking this bad boy out. Moving this bad boy over. Make him bigger. And move this guy over. Come on, baby boy. You got this. Come on. Now you're, you're I, I'm putting a lot of stress on you. I get it. I get it. There's a lot of heat on you. Give me the wheel of death and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be mad, but you're already giving it to me. So I can't really say anything. You already gave me the spinny wheel of death. Use explicit assertion. Come on, baby boy. You got this. Come on, girl. I'll pet you a little bit. There you go. That's all you need. You just need a little pet, didn't you? I had to I had to literally pet her in order to get her going again. This girl is crazy. She acting like these Puerto Ricans are. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, V. I'm just kidding. Oh, and look who joined the party. The level of distraction on this stream is crazy. I can't believe how often I just like pivot like that. All right, well, that's not even working, so. Okay, there we go. There we go. Really sad that these MacBooks can't handle this. It's really sad, but what do you do? You know, just gotta keep riding though. Top of the line, so I got pretty much the top of the line. You can't really get, can't get much better than this computer, but if it's not gonna ride with me. Then I'm gonna have to go to the PC, no way. No way, no way. I'm not gonna sell my soul. Sorry. I know some of y'all want me to. right here dude just come right there that's it whatever all right there we go now we back <clears throat> make this a little bit bigger now perfect perfect now we're looking good Okay, so extra measures of prevention, time constraint assertions, alpha decay implementation, summary look ahead bias. How do I prevent look ahead bias? Summary look ahead bias is integral factor in ensuring reliable backtesting that occurs when future unavailable data at decision time are incorrectly used, skewing strategy results unrealistically by adhering to strict data pol handling policies, employing time slicing correctly, and leveraging robust backtesting libraries like backtesting.py, one can significantly reduce or eradicate it. 
Look at bias. So I asked for three more examples. Sorry, I like to really dive into things. So if I'm doing it, you're doing it, dude. Confidence in backtesting.py. The backtesting.py library is, is created to mitigate it. We already read this. All right, so we're pretty good on this. Alpha decay. So let's go ahead and run an alpha decay test on this. So see, is this optimizing still? It's not. So let's go ahead here. Copy it. Let's run it first and see what we get. Okay. So we get the, the exact strategy out of this. Big buyer coming through here. 417%. Perfect. This is the return straight up. It's a little overfitted probably, but it is what it is, dude. Um, please build me an alpha DK test for the below back test. So this would be lick lick BT short alpha DK dot PY. All right, so it's building it for me. Let's go ahead and read about it first. To implement an alpha decay test, we will introduce a delayed trade execution mechanism mechanism into the liquidity strategy by testing the strategy with varying delays. We can see how performance metrics like return, sharp, and profit factor decay over time. Here's how you can do it. Modify the strategy to include execution delays. Somebody just got rocked on zero. How performance metrics like sharp modify the strategy to include execution delays, run the back test with different delay values, compare and analyze the results. We'll extend the liquidation strategy and incorporate a delay in trade execution and define a function to perform the alpha decay test. That sounds super good to me, B. I don't know about you. Modified strategy with delays. First, we will create a new strategy class that inherits liquidation strategy. You can see there's a delayed liquidation strategy. Load and prepare the data. Now we load and prepare the data. Perform the alpha decay test. We define a function to run this back test with different delays. Summary, this function iterates over the provided delay intervals, runs the back test for each delay and prints out the result. Big whale coming through 10 mil on the buy. Big whale, big whale. Alert, alert. Big whale, dude, big whale. Another big whale coming through with an $11 million buy. What day is it, dude? It's Tuesday? Sheesh. Summary, so modify, uh, this allows you to see the strategy performance metrics change as the execution delay increases, providing insights into the robustness and potential look ahead bias of your strategy. Summary, modified the strategy to, to include the delay execution, ran the back test with different delays to observe the alpha decay. So let's get up here and just start pasting in this freaking code, cousin. How about that? How about those apples? This is an alpha decay, alpha decay, which is a way to prevent look ahead bias in trading by simply changing the, by adding, by simply adding a time delay to my current trading strategy. Okay, let's paste that part in. Okay, delayed liquidation strategy. Okay, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy in the code here. Yep, there we go. 
And then there's one more piece of code, I believe. Run alpha delay test here. Okay. Let's run it, cousin. Let's run it and see what happens. See what happens, dude. So it's running with a zero delay here. So it should have the same results, right? Okay, this is sick, dude. Alpha decay test. Let's put that on the notes because we need to know that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, whoever commented that yesterday. I love these questions because if I don't understand something, I just go ahead and learn it with you. And then now we both know it. So that's why I love going live, dude. That's why I love going live. I was so nervous at first because I'm not the best coder in the world, but hey, I'm still nervous actually because I'm still not the best coder in the world, but it's okay because that nervousness gets like a value, you know? Most people aren't gonna do this, so I just do things other people aren't gonna do, and this pushes me every single day, dude. That's why I say I'm here at eight and I'm here at seven. So let's see if it all matches up. So here's the alpha decay test, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just make this a little easier for our eyes here. And I'm gonna put it on this, uh, on the actual code here. And let's go ahead and put this this here in the one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh oh, bears are coming through. All right. Uh oh, bears are coming through. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody's racking 10 mil just sold right there. Somebody just sold 10 mil right there. So good luck. Good luck out there, fellas. Okay, so this is with no time delay. Let's take a look at the, let's actually open this up into the other side too. Let's open it uh, split right and then also split left. Oh. Okay, well that, I mean, that's chill, but I didn't know we could have four windows open. So this would be, I'm gonna open them all up to Lake Alpha Decay because they all have different things. Remember, this one here on the far left is zero minutes, that's the OG. This is the OG. Okay, let's look at the OG versus a one minute delay. Okay, we can see it's the same results. Exactly the same. So let's look at the two minute delay. Same results. I mean, this is sketch, honestly. Okay, here we go, five minute delay, there we go. Um, let's go look at the 10 minute delay or whatever's next 10 minute delay. Okay. So, okay, here we go. This is alpha decay test. This is to help. Um, this is to help, to help, uh, build confidence because that's all we're doing at this time. Essentially. Essentially. No way, dude. Aziz just shared this in the chat. Unreal. I'm checking it out on stream because you know how to get API access though. Okay. Um, all right, let's check these out. So this is the OG and you can see with a five minute delay here, it it's still good. Same drawdown, same trade, just a little higher return. So I feel like that's cool. Best trade 6.2. Oh, best trade is 3.2. The profit factor is a little lower actually, but it's around the same. So it's chill to me at least. 7.5, 0.75, sharp ratios are all, you know, mediocre, but it is what it is. It is what it is. 402, that's fine with me. Is it fine with you, dude? I hope so. All right, let's check out another one. 15 minute delay here. Okay, 389. So I feel like I like it. I like this alpha decay okay, thing. This one here, a 30 minute delay, which is drastic. It's, that's a drastic delay, B. That's a drastic delay and it still works. What about 60 minute delay? It's getting worse, obviously, but that's not the strategy. It's actually getting better on the sharp ratio, it looks like, that's cool. Yeah, this was dope, I like it. So um, I wanna go ahead and make sure to 
to uh, continue to do this. Continuously do this. Back test better. This Friday's idea is like back test better. Build more confidence. That's it. That's what I'm thinking for Friday, but I don't know. There might be some other breakthroughs and just want to make sure that every week is super impactful. I'm talking about the inner circle. Oh, snap. Actually, you know what? There are there's a couple open spots on the inner circle. So let me just make sure to open that up. So I have this inner circle here and I just made it free for everybody that is uh, inside of the Quant Elite. So every day at 8 a.m. I go live here and then on Fridays it costs $1.99 per week to get in there. So it's not free and there's an application but it's been closed. I'm going to open the doors up right now. And in order to get to this page where you can click this link, I'm, there's only space for 20 people because we made it free for quant elite and there's 20 quant elites. Go here, notion, click the notion and you can go join the inner circle in like, I don't know, three minutes from now. It won't, there's only 20 spots available because this is, it's just not for everybody. I can't have everybody on YouTube seeing this stuff, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I do the inner circle calls and that's where I do like tutorials because at the end of the day, I'm working here live and then the inner circle calls, I do like the reviews. So I got a lot of good stuff to show you this week and people have been begging to get in. So here's your chance, dude. Don't hit me later though, saying like, yo, I missed the spot, like I told you. If you're not here live, then to be real with you, I don't want you up in the inner circle. To be real with you, if you're not tapped in all the time. So it's about to launch here and there's only 20 spaces. Join the boot camp here. I gotta make sure to manage, manage this, okay. Let's say, where'd you go? All right, it's live. It's live, dude. It's live. The inner circle is back live. I'm going to make a little news event here. At here. Not telling everybody about this. About this. Only the ones in Discord and on lives but we made the inner circle Friday calls free for anyone in quant elite. So we, if you are, if you are already in it, your subscription has been canceled and you will still get access to the Friday inner circle calls if you are part of Quant Elite or the inner circle. Since we just made it free for Quant Elite members, there are 20 spots now available here. I'm writing this here. You can see me right if you want. So now there's 20 spots available. We have had way more than 20 people sign up for the wait list and ask via email to join the inner circle so these spaces will fill up fast the inner circle is 
where I go over all of the code I created in our weekly streams. Since I know you can't, not everybody, not everyone can um, attend to all four to eight hour daily streams on Fridays. I go over everything in under 30 minutes at 12 p.m. Eastern for UTC. The inner circle is application only. And if you get accepted, it's $199 per week. Cancel any time. We only have space for 100 members. So we encourage those that will not show up weekly to cancel. This will give room to the people on the wait list. TLDR inner circle Friday at noon calls are now free for quant elite members. That means there are 20 spaces now available if you want to apply to get in the inner circle. Apply here. Okay, dude. Here's your chance. This is your chance, dude. This is your chance. Everybody that emailed me, that's your chance. That's your chance, dude. Everybody that just emailed me about the inner circle, dude. So that's your chance, bro. I'm trying to give you love, dude. I give you love every day. I give you love every day by coming here and showing you everything I'm building. And I feel like today we've already shown you step by step how to do something new and cool. So I'm excited you're here, dude. Every day. Every day and every single way, I'm going to do every single thing that I can do to move me forward. And if you're doing the same things as me, dude, then this might move you forward as well. I don't know. Good morning, good morning. All right, I'm just sending this so you can have it. Okay, I sent it, I'm sending it, I sent it there, and I sent it everywhere. Just everybody, I just wanna make sure everybody gets the love, dude. And now I sent it via email, I'm sending it via email, so this is really, like, if you're on live right now, 
this you better get there quick i mean if that's what you want i don't care if you're in there honestly i love you if you are or you aren't but either way either way it's a race now i just sent it to a, a bunch of people on email so um good luck good luck good luck and you got to apply <laughs> It's never gonna open again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's never gonna open again. I'm never gonna open it unless people drop out. I mean, but people aren't leaving, and it's really, it's really cool to see. But at the same time, I'm trying to push people out because I want to get some new faces in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing that people out. I'm gonna start ramping up the emails. I'm gonna start ramping up the notifications. If you're not into this stuff, then you're gonna get annoyed with it, and then get off my list. Get out of my world. That's it. At the end of the day, this stuff is getting too deep. I'm getting way too deep. I'm, I didn't anticipate getting this good here and showing this much stuff. So <laughs> I want to keep it for the inner circle. Let me go ahead and answer any questions here. Yo, FS Trent says, but running out to fill the propane tanks for the fourth. Yo, dope, dude. Happy fourth almost. Uh, good morning, Moon Dev. I was wondering if your course bots can also be interesting for small capital accounts talking 500 USDT and without getting the account blown. Yeah, I think they could. Uh, I would really recommend uh, saving up money while you're doing this process, though. Um, where is the process? You dweeb. Where? How do I even get to it? This process here. I would just save your money and research and backtest. And don't go live until you're super duper confident in your back test. Because I just ran right to the billion a bot. And if I did that, I would have lost the 500. So I just want to be honest with you. He's talking about the boot camp. The boot camp's where I show you step by step how to automate your trading and get up to speed with me. Because I've been doing this for multiple years now. I'm on year four. I'm not the best in the world, but I know stuff that you don't know if you are just getting started. So uh, I didn't have somebody to guide me through this like myself so i just wanted to give it to you so that's what it's here for dude much love to you 777 there's a hundred percent money back guarantee so even if you want to just jump in check it out see if it's for you you get all the code you get my whole community there's a team of us in there and it's super inexpensive plus you get your money back if you don't love it so definitely jump in check it out if you love it you love it if you don't, you get your money back. There's no risk. And you see me here every day. I'm not going anywhere. Great question, though. Uh, 7770, smash the like. Yes, 777, sharp no. Hey, how you doing? New new applications are now closed. You can still join the boot camp. Dude, did I not just send that? My bad. I thought I, I thought I made it so it wasn't closed anymore. Maybe refresh the page now? Yeah, refresh the page. I just made it so it's... There you go. There you go. You got like three minutes though. <laughs> because I know it's already filling up. So um, do you, dude. Uh, let's see here. Strategy, SMA, or you could just use live data. Let me know when it's time. Yeah, it's live now, dude. So it looks like you got a good little sharp, sharp ratio, Sortito, nice. Is this the SMA cross you're talking about? Just make sure you got uh, fees up in there. That's it. That's it, dude. So your back test code created 10 different strats. Bob Smith says, thanks, bro. It's my second count for deep sight. Oh, so you're deep sight. Okay. That's your first name. Sharpnell says that makes sense. First, learn to build the bots and back test till I feel confident enough. Exactly, dude. I want you to save your money until you have the most confidence. And how do you build that confidence? It's, it's back test a ton, back test a ton. And then you're, you're able to run your own AB tests. So like Sharpnell has... His first back test, it might be a SMA cross. Okay, well, you might see some results there, but then you're like, mm, well, everybody's running an SMA cross. Let me make this a little more in depth here. And then you find some other secret and then you look through, you know, <clears throat> the boot camp, and maybe one idea tips you off to a whole nother realm that I can't even get to, dude, because you have different experiences than I do. But yeah, that's how I would manage a, a smaller bankroll for sure. I mean, that's how I manage a big rank roll too, to be honest. So <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, there's no reason to waste money. There's no reason to waste money. That's why, that's how I feel. So that's why I kick it mostly in the R and the B station, the research and the back test. Cause for me now, this part is super easy. Like I've got all of everything set up. I just have to post in the strategies, you know, 
I show you how to do all of this too in the boot camp. So feel free to join or just check out my YouTube videos. You know, I know you're on a you're on a budget here, so if you don't want to join the boot camp, that's totally cool, man. Join whenever you want or you don't want, but you know, I post I post everything I know here on YouTube as well. I actually learned it all like while I'm posting. So, you know, it's a unique way to learn as well. You know, there's thousands of hours here. It's going to take more time to learn it, of course, but I'm sure you'll learn things that I don't even teach in the boot camp because I, you know, I'm I'm just a human and I can't remember everything that I've done. <laughs> You know, so, you know, either or, dude, just I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're in our world and there's no rush to anything. There's no rush to get in the boot camp. There's no pressure. And yeah, I'm just I'm just out here vibing, building bot stuff. So I'm glad you're here, Sharp. No, uh, Tone says he can't wait to join up, man. I'm learning so much for free already. That's so dope, dude. Well, today I went ahead and I showed you step by step how to go ahead and make sure that you are not running into look ahead bias in your back tests. And it's pretty cool because, you know, I had never considered that with backtesting.py. It seems like backtesting.py is built in to keep look ahead bias out of here. And then on top of that, we just went ahead and did an alpha decay test. So an alpha decay test essentially moves the data around by a few minutes up to 60 minutes and then that is a way to make sure that we are not having look ahead bias so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll catch you in the next one